How do you use GPT for Gmail? You might be familiar with ChatGPT or other AI apps, and you can integrate those into Gmail and use them with Gmail add-ons. So when you have your Gmail open, on the right-hand side, you're going to see a plus icon, and we can get add-ons by clicking on that plus. Now inside of here, you might already see some of the most uh, popular ones or AI-powered apps are right here up front. You can also search apps here at the top for GPT and just press enter on your keyboard. And then you're going to find all these different results. Now I would go with probably the most installs and highest rated apps because you're probably going to have the most success with some of those as opposed to some of them being buggy. However, it just depends on what you want. Most of these you're going to find are free trials with paid features. Some of them could also just be free. You can sort by price up here, but it's not the best sorting because if you click free of charge, this one still shows up for instance, but you'll notice that it's actually a free trial. Let's go ahead and try this one. We'll try it out, kind of see what it can add and show you how to do or install an add-on here in Gmail. So we click on GPT for Gmail and you can read through the overview of how it helps you write faster. And you can see the price down here at the bottom, free of charge trial. So there's a trial period with this. So we're going to click install. It has to, have, it has to have our permission to install. So we can click continue and then uh, choose the account you want to install it on. And so I'm going to choose this one, continue again, and basically allow it to do all these different things. So we can click allow and it's going to install this add-on. So you see the add-on will be in our sidebar. So in a similar spot to where we clicked that plus icon. And there's additional setup before we start using it. So you would have to complete that additional setup to be able to actually use GPT for Gmail. So step two of this would be to click on completing the additional setup. Now this took us to the GPT workspace website. So it's probably somewhere where you can sign up and actually pay for the product. There's a pricing section, et cetera, but we did install the add-on. So we're gonna go back to our other tab and then click done here. And so you can see now when you go to this page in the app add-ons, it's an uninstall button. So if you ever wanna uninstall this, just go find the app in the app add-ons and click this button to remove it from uh, your Gmail if you don't like it. Now we're gonna exit out of this and you can see here that it actually opened up and showed us this add-on right here. If we compose a new email, and so we're gonna send this to maybe just anyone, the contact at pixel and bracket email, um, you know, it can actually suggest an email and write an email for you. So maybe I just want to do um, something around like a brief introduction and a question to someone. And I can just click this little add-on button down here, this GPT for Gmail. When I click on that, it actually comes up with generating an email. And so I can detail out everything here about the email I want to write. There's actually a couple of different prompts I could give it, uh, but maybe in this case, I want to write a, a brief intro of myself uh, and then ask a question about a YouTube tutorial video, let's say. And so then we can generate the email and kind of get started with writing out this email for whatever we're sending this to. So in this case, you can see the draft already. It's an introduction, like my name is, and then you would insert your name, I'm currently learning about, and then a topic related to the video. So it actually puts in parentheses, areas where maybe you haven't given it enough information and allows you to fill in the blanks, if you will. But it fills out this email for you, you know, starting with the introduction, and then this part was, you know, having a question about one part of the tutorial. And so this is perfect. And then you can improve the draft by giving it some more prompts to improve it. Uh, you can rewrite it. And then you also have some other options here, like regenerate. You can expand the email or shorten the email. And then you can click insert. And so insert will actually put this email into uh, the email that you're writing. Now it puts this little logo down here more than likely because we had uh, the free version of GPT for Gmail. And it kind of inserted it below our signature. So we could just delete out the signature. And there we go, we have the email. 
we can even delete out that image, right? So it's written this email for us and we can just go in here and change those parentheses areas to help format the email better. And so it's pretty quick and easy here um, how to really insert these drafts and have GPT write this email for you. Now, if we go click on the GPT for Gmail app add-on in our sidebar, it's going to pull open some options. So you could open an email uh, or conversation and start using it from there like we saw, or you can click on the GPT for Gmail logo at the bottom of the editor. And so we could do that as well. And now you could compose a new email from here. There's three dots up here at the top that actually allows you to learn more, which probably takes you to their website and then settings. So if we go into settings, that's where we'll see the subscription. So you notice this one was a free trial. Uh, there's probably a certain amount of credits or something like that to use. So the current plan is free and there's a lot of credits actually to be used here. And then you can manage subscription, get free credits, whatever, um, and basically sign in with your Gmail on uh, GPT for Gmail's website. The other thing it said is you can open up a previous conversation. So if you find a conversation, um, you know, I'm just going to click on any one of these, this Twitter ads uh, email. And if I go to, for instance, like reply to this email, um, there's actually, if you open up this tab over here, so if we open up this tab, we have some quick replies and different things based on the context of the email. So this was an update and here's a quick reply that says, thanks for the update. You can quickly use that quick reply uh, as a part of your reply to, you know, whatever the email is that you have open. And so there's lots of different ways that you can use this GPT for Gmail add-on that we just uh, clicked on and installed here. Like I said, in the app add-on section, you can actually uninstall it if you don't like it. Uh, but, you know, it can really help you write emails quickly and better than you could, or at least give you a head start. And that's kind of what I like using AI for at times. It's just giving me a head start being able to think of how to phrase something uh, better so that I can maybe remove that part of it and work on a more important part of the message. That's how you can use GPT for Gmail.